Alleluia. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, on this 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time, we celebrate Father's Day. And I want to say, like I said at the beginning of the Mass, Happy Father's Day to all dads and those men who play a fatherly role in the lives of young people. We remember all fathers with gratitude and affection, those who live with us physically, but also those who live with us spiritually and are now with our Heavenly Father. May our gracious God draw you closer to His heart as we celebrate this Mass for your intention. For young dads, I have this to say to you. I urge you to be close to your children, spend time with them, and get to know them so that, they are able to un- so that you are able to understand them. Be by their side and teach them. Guide them in the way of the Lord and love them. May St. Joseph, the patron of all fathers, pray for us. May he be a model to inspire true fatherhood in our families, our society, and our world. Today, as we celebrate the 12th Sunday in ordinary time of our liturgical year, and that is why I'm wearing green, because it's ordinary time, the Gospel of Matthew presents to us a very powerful theme that is so relevant to our current circumstances these days. Jesus tells us, like he told the disciples of his time, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill your soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both body and soul into Gehenna, the valley of fire, where there will be granny and gnashing of teeth. On June 11, I invited some of our students to join us, Atlanta Catholic, for the March for Justice. And one of our students from Georgia State, she's from a Caribbean American ancestry. She was born in the U.S., but her family migrated from there. She's a black girl with her two sisters. They came. The younger sister, I think, was about 13 years old. And they had on a T-shirt with the inscription, am I next? You know, I had like house shirts to give to everybody who would come, but when I saw their shirts, I just, I was just taken, am I next? That words, those words, those three words, am I next, is built with an incredible amount of fear. Am I next? That black children are living in fear of what will happen to them when they encounter a police officer. That black men are living in fear of what will happen to them when they encounter a police officer. That black women, too, are living in fear of what will happen to them when they encounter a police officer. That black families are living in fear of what will happen to them when they encounter a police officer, especially if they are driving and gets pulled over. Now, I want to be clear that we have very good police officers. So not all are bad cops. We have very good police officers. I have families, friends, I'm friends with families that, have, that does their best you know, to serve the community. And we wish all of them a happy Father's Day as we celebrate this Mass today. But the imagery of fear that people have to live with now is something terrible. And Jesus tells us today, do not be afraid. You are worth more. Do not fear the one who can only destroy your body but fear the one who can destroy both body and soul into Gehenna, the valley of fire, where there will be granny and gnashing of teeth. 
Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs on your hair are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Today, as I reflect with you on the context of what Jesus was telling his disciples, do not be afraid. The context was the cost of discipleship. The context was we will be prosecuted. The context was do not be afraid even if you are tortured. The context was you must do everything to be a good disciple. And sometimes we will undergo prosecution. But do not be afraid of those who can only hurt our body. We should rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both body and soul into Gehenna. In other words, as we make our Christian journey during this time, we are called to be disciples rooted in the truth of Christ, that Christ is Lord, and that we must try to live a righteous life. We must try to live right. We must try to give good examples. We must strive to love and be compassionate as we make our journey in this world. Do not be afraid, he says to you. Do not be afraid, he says to me. And I say to those little girls that came to participate in the match and had a teacher, am I next? I say to you, do not be afraid. The Lord is your shepherd. The Lord is our shepherd. He is our protector, and he is our help. That justice will reign, but we have to stand steadfast and walk in faith. So as we celebrate this Mass today, and we want to say Happy Father's Day to all fathers, I, I, I ask fathers to do your best. Be the best dad you can be. Spend time with your children. Try to know them. Try to understand them why they do what they do. Try to probe their mind and be close to them. Be affectionate to them. Bond with them. Because if you create that now and they know that you are there with them and they know that we have a Father in heaven that loves us so much, that cares for us so much, and that will be our protector. When you are old, they will come and return that same care you've given to them. And so what happens is it makes a 360-degree circle that all that you invested, you will be able to yield much fruits in your old age because they will show you love, they will show you affection, and they will stand with you, and they will be with you. May the Almighty God bless you all as we celebrate this Mass, and we pray for all fathers. We pray for black families during this time that are living in fear. We ask God to protect all his people. We ask God to protect black families. We ask God to make us stand strong so that we can hear the message of Christ. Do not be afraid. Just have faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.